Okay, so why do you why do we want to adjust kids? Okay, well I can sum it up with with a story that I, I had a patient back in two thousand and three. Mm -hmm. His name was was John. Okay, we'll call him Little Johnny. Uh, the gal, the clinic that I was working at, it was one of the front desk gals' girlfriends, and her son was a newborn, and he would not sleep. He was colky, he was crying all the time, wasn't going to the bathroom for days on end, and she was just at wit's end, and her girlfriend wanted her to come in, and she just was deathly afraid of coming in to see a chiropractor. So after months of sleepless nights, and I think it really was because she had to give the baby a suppository just to get him to go to the bathroom, I think that was what finally said, all right, I'm gonna come in. So when she came in, um, you know, we really talked about chiropractic and, and what happens in the body and how the nerves that control everything in the body, that control the bowel, that come from the low, from the low back, that control how the baby's going to do everything that it needs to do. And um, we, we examined him and we found that there was areas of his low back and pelvis that were not where they're supposed to be. So, um, we had to, again, convince mom to let us adjust him, and I have went through the process of adjusting, you know, which, uh, which we'll see later on the video, and we, uh, she was very reluctant to do that, but as we kind of talked her through it, she, she kind of started to, to kind of get more comfortable and more comfortable. So with her, with a lot of moms, if they're really nervous, we'll have mom actually lay down and we'll adjust baby on mom. So baby stays calm and mom stays calm. So that's what we did. We, we adjusted the baby um, on mom and I picked up Johnny off of her and had her get off on the opposite side of the table and I went to hand little Johnny back to her and just filled his drawers right there. And you could just see on her face that her, her face just relieved. Shoulders dropped. You could tell just like, oh. I can't believe that he just went on his own because for for months she was always having to do something prune juice you know suppositories whatever and you could just see that relief on her face and it was almost kind of like well why didn't I come in sooner and and that really was one of the defining moments of why I wanted to have a family practice of my own once I did have my own practice and and that to see kids and how powerful adjustment can be to help to help kids out because it's not fun not being able to go to the bathroom for days on end. And that's why they're constantly crying and, and not feeling good. Then of course, mom's not feeling good. Babysitter's not doing good because they're not doing good. So that's really, in a nutshell, the reason why I want to adjust kids. He's big enough, usually you know, at 30 pounds, you know, when, they, when they're pretty active, they can, he's, he's got enough strength in his musculature to handle uh, a, a, a manipulation like that. There, there are some techniques where they will adjust infants right out of the gate with a manual adjustment. And that's, that's fine and dandy. Usually what I'll do though is use the activator. The biggest reason why I want to do this is because I know that there's other roadblocks like we talked about earlier um, with people saying, you know, oh, I don't like my neck getting cracked or that noise or whatever. Other people may have said, um, hey, why don't you take your, your son or daughter or grandson or granddaughter to, uh, to the chiropractor and they probably just looked at you and went, why would I do that? Okay, so what this is for is going to be a purpose for you to have a video for you to refer people to, to look at and say, go to his website, take a look at the video and you'll see how we treat kids. So I have a four-year-old, two-year-old, and an eight-month-old, and I'm going to show you what we do for newborns because um, I've adjusted all of them since the day they were born. I have some several clients who um, I've adjusted their their newborns the day after they were born. I went up to the hospital and did all that. Did their did a chiropractic check on them, right? Yeah. Yep. Doing good, bud. So um, this is uh, my four-year-old. Now. Um, why do we treat kids? Well, birth is traumatic. Birth is, yes, they are made to be pliable at this age, but it's still very traumatic for, for them. So we need to, to check them out and make sure that right from the get that they have a good start and that, that everything does exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay? 
That's what chiropractic is really about, is just making sure that the body can heal itself, can do everything that it needs to do, develop, and develop without any, any hindrance or anything that is uh, going to stop them from doing that. So um, I'll, I'll probably spin some um, conditions that we go over, but the biggest conditions that I see for young, really young kids are colicky, where the mom's saying that I just cannot calm this kid down, hasn't gone to the bathroom in a few days, so on and so forth. Those are, that, those are pretty common ones. Uh, and then uh, chronic ear infections is also another one. Those are, those are two main ones that come into the office, but um, even some things as ADD uh, that we can help with, okay, help keep that under control. But uh, I'll, I'll throw some of those in the, into the video, but I uh, don't want to waste, take up all the time to do that, to talk about that. So, so what do we do when a, when a youngster comes into the office? Well, first is we do take a history. The biggest thing, I'll stand up on First thing is, is to find out, was there any birth trauma? Uh, all of our kids were born um, cesarean session. So that in and of itself is very dramatic, okay? They are pulling the kid out in the opposite direction of where it was meant to go. Okay, so you're automatically going against, going against nature that way. So we always expect some inherent scenario with that. Um, some of the, some of the sub scenarios that we see with cesarean section in babies is uh, upper respiratory issues because they don't have that pressure to expel all that fluid out of their lungs when they come through the birth canal. Uh, some skin type issues, uh, cradle cap a lot, those types of scenarios. So we'll see those a lot with them. But uh, when they grab by the neck, that puts a lot of pressure on that neck. We want to make sure that that is all doing well. And I can feel right now that you have a spot out already, but right there. So uh, the other thing is traumatic falls. Uh, anytime that you have a, uh, a daughter or a uh, um, you know, an aunt or whoever has kids that uh, kid has taken a, a good spill, fell off the back of a couch, fell on the stairs, something like that, they need to be checked and make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Okay? You'll see in my other one that he has a nice big boo-boo on his forehead, so we have to make sure that we get him checked right away. Uh, so, take a good history, find out if there is anything that is going on already that would lead us to suspect that there's something going on in there. Another, the next thing is a postural check. No, not that way. Look at Toward, toward that camera there, bud. So we're going to do a postural check. Have your feet together. Now this isn't the greatest stand to do this on, but of course for height and demonstration purposes we're going to have to do it on here. But we want to be on a flat surface and just have your hands down your side, bud. There you go. So we're going to take a look at him and you can see that his shoulders are dipping. This left shoulder is dipped a little bit. Okay. Right there is an indicator that something is pulling on that side, whether he did, had a fall or whatever the four-year-olds are going to do running around in the backyard, which can be many things. So that tells me that there's probably something going on in this mid-back here. The next one we do is we're going to look at the hips. So we bring our fingers in this way, and if we're going to see one set of fingers higher than the other, or from the back side, do we have a thumb that's higher than the other? It tells me that the hips are up. Okay. So with hips, we're going to see constipation issues. We're going to see um, maybe diarrhea. Um, walking issues when you see a kid that walks funny um, where he's maybe dragging a hip or dragging a foot or slapping the foot a little bit more common so we'll see those issues in there so for this one because he's big enough I use manual adjusting on him some patients I've had that are this side they they are afraid of, of the popping and cracking so we'll do the activator on him but he is used to that so we'll do the manual adjusting on him and because I have him in this position here. We do a standing thoracic adjustment. Ready? Ready to jump? One, two, three, jump. There we go. All right, so we got that, that mid-back one just right there. All right, so now we're going to go face down, but. All right, so. So they'll all just, they'll usually just lay down, lay down like that. And it's, it's amazing. Usually the first couple of visits, um, Kids are going to be a little uncomfortable. They don't know what's going on. It's just you know typical doctor's visit. What's this guy going to do to me? You know those types of things. But once they start to get uh, get used to it, then they know the routine. Uh, I've had several where you know they watch Big Brother, Big Sister, and they just climb up there and, and just lay down and and do whatever we do. Now, what I'm demonstrating is how I take care of kids, and it's really important to know that there are several different ways to adjust to adjust children. But this is the way that I do it. Um, there are, there are all different types of techniques that 
will have different types of adjustments or the way that they do that. And, and that's okay. You want to find the one that you're most comfortable with to do that, but for intense purposes. So when I put his feet together, it looks pretty good. We have a little bit out on this side here. So if they cooperate, we'll, we'll, put the, we'll do a leg check. Again, that tells me I confirmed when I put my thumbs together, this right side was a little bit was a little bit low. So that tells me that that hip has has kind of gotten out of position. So we're going to adjust that one here in a second. While I had them standing, sometimes it will change from when they lay down, and this one did not change. This is the one I can't really demonstrate very well with. But what I'll do is I'll have mom feel some of the same stuff that I'm feeling. Not always can they feel the same thing that I'm feeling, but. Uh, sometimes they will. Sometimes they'll go, wow, yeah, that doesn't feel anything like the other side. And that's really what we're looking for. Is this side tight? Is it tender? Is he flinching when I push on that, on that spot? Um, you know, as the younger kids will really <clears throat> try to knock my hands away because it's uncomfortable. So uh, definitely on that side, so we'll adjust his neck too. So I'm going to have you come on up, bud. We're going to flip you over so everybody can see. We're going to go this way. So like I said, he's pretty, he's pretty cooperative. He's been having this done since he's been born. So, so we'll do the same thing that we do on an adult. There we go. So we got his little back there. And we'll spin you around, bud. Take your back. So, you know, the, the biggest, the biggest thing with this is, is to know that, that it is gentle. We don't need to use a lot of force. That's what I think a lot of people especially maybe new moms will go, oh my gosh, what are you gonna do to you know, tear his head off? It, it's not, it's, it's, very, it's very subtle types of adjustments and that's, and that's another big reason why I wanted to demonstrate this so that you, that you see that so when you do talk to a relative or someone that you do care about, oh yeah, maybe you really should get them in because you know, something's not right here. All right, so we're gonna adjust your neck butt. Down, down. So that was the left side, so I'm going to have to swing over. Sorry, Andy. Mm -hmm. So we just bring it all the way over and just do a light one like that. And it went. Didn't make a whole lot of noise, but it went. Good job, bud. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay, can you go bring your brother in?